very important. This third category of people, as I told you, one pe type of people who accept that dawa, that call, that ideology, and then they plunge into deep waters, risking everything. Other one, they have rejected the ideology, rather they have decided to oppose it, and they are opposing it to and nail. And then this third group is in between. They want to make peace between evil and good, between batil and haq. They want to make peace between them. Because if there is a clash between the batil and the haq, between the truth and the falsehood, if there is a clash, there is going to be bloodshed, there is going to be loss of life, loss of property, loss of conveniences, everything. So actually they want peace, not for the sake of their truth, but for themselves, to save themselves. That is why they used, they wanted to say, but why are we going to war? Is no use going to war against Kuffar? Why not go on preaching and preaching and teaching and teaching? Well, we can, we can preach Islam. We can teach Islam to the people. Why Muhammad Wasallam has taken this way? He, is sending, he started sending small groups of armies, small groups, obstructing the way of the caravans. Of the Quraysh. What war? Why? This will lead to bloodshed. This will lead to war, to battles. We don't, we shouldn't do it. We should make peace. Now you, this, this, this character, you must read between the lines. Where it is said to them, don't make mischief on the earth. They say, oh no, we are the peacemakers. What was the mischief? Muslims, the true Mormons said to them, if you have accepted Muhammad sallallahu as the messenger of Allah, if you accepted Islam, then be true Muslims. Now obey him in every respect. When you have accepted him, now you have to obey him. Why you know this difference of opinion? This is actually mischief. This is fasad. La tussadu fillar. There is a party. You are breaking the discipline of the party. This party must be disciplined. Bunyanun Marsus. In Allah, you have Bullazina, you can't in Ulafi Sabile, so fun can the Bunyanun Marsus. You should be like, you know, a fortified wall, not, your, not different people, individuals, you know. So this group should be very much integrated. And why are you making this facade? And they, the reply was, no, we want to make peace. Muhammad wants to make war, sallallahu alayhi wasallam, And we want to obstruct this war mongering. We want to have peace. Allah humul mufsidun. Now this is the decree of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Listen, they are the mischief mongers. But they don't have the perception, they perceive not. But they are the mischief mongers. Why? Because actually, whenever on this earth, there is some system, which is not the system of deen of Allah, this is fasad. Although there might be all amn, all peace, apparent peace, but actually when this is not the law of Allah, which is governing this place, it is in rebellion against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is fasad. Zahar al fasad of il barre wal bahar, the maka sabatayad in nas. This is fasad. This is rebellion against the rightful ruler. The rightful owner of this universe is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He is the only rightful ruler. And if anybody else, any other law is ruling, it is rebellion. So this rebellion has to be set under. It has to be controlled. It has to be dealt with. And for dealing with this rebellion, putting it down, you need a party, strong party, powerful party, disciplined party. Now if you are, if you are giving, making injuries to the discipline of that party, you are weakening that party, you are, you are abetting this system actually, this facade. So Quran says, Allah in humul mufsidun. By breaking the discipline of the Muslim party, of Hezbollah, of the party of Allah and Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, they are actually, they are the mischief mongers. They are abetting and supporting this facade on earth. Allah in the humul musaduna walakin la yashurun. Vaida kila lahum aminu kamaman nas. And when it is said to them, you should also believe just as the others have believed. 
یہ لوگ تو ابو بکر لوگ تو عمر لوگ تو سعد ابن معاذ لوگ تو سعد ابن عبادہ رضی اللہ تعالیٰ عنہ اجمعین دے ار دی بلیورز وائی ڈونٹ یو فالو دیم وائی ڈونٹ یو ٹیک ٹو دیئر ایگزامپل وٹ ڈڈ دے سی ویری انٹرسٹنگ وائی ذا قیل لہم آمنو کما آمن الناس قالو انومنو کما آمن السفہا دے سید شڈ وی بلیو جسٹ ایس دیس فولز ار بلیوینگ دے تھوٹ دیئر فولز دیئر فینٹکس دے ار رسکنگ ایوری تھنگ دیز ار فولز who have left their homes and hearts and they have come over from Makkah to Medina are they are they you know wise people they don't look to whatever is injurious to them whatever is harmful to them whatever is beneficial for them they have just migrated from Makkah leaving their families their home not only their homes and hearts their families at the mercy of the wolves of Makkah they have come over here so they are fools Actually, we are not fools like them. We are not going to risk our lives and properties and our wealth. We are not going to, that, to take that path. Aba iza qila lahum aminu kama aman as-sufaha. Aamanu kama aman al-nas. Qalu anu minu kama aman as-sufaha. Ala innahum humu as-sufaha walakin la ya'alamun. Listen to it. Harkan. They are the fools. But they don't have the perception. They don't have the knowledge. Abu Bakr is not a fool. Omar is not a fool. And Saad ibn Ibadah and Saad ibn Maaz, they are not fools. These are fools. Ubay, Abdullah ibn Ubay is the biggest fool of Medina. And the people who are like him, people who are obeying him, people who are taking his part, they are the fools. Because actually they don't know what is really good and beneficial for them. Because real life is the life hereafter. And this is injurious for them. Because we read in Surah Al-Nisa, اِنَّ الْمُنَافِقِينَ فِي الدَّرْكِ الْأَسْفَلِ مِنَ النَّارِ These munafiqeen will be in the lowest part of hell. In the lowest section of hell, they will be placed. So actually they are fools. 